Hi guys, I'm back with another video and I know I said to some one of my viewers that there was a video coming up about the multi-liner pens by Copix. So what I'm going to do is talk about these. I know I've talked about originally my Unipin pens that I quite a lot use a lot of these. So we're going to be trying the Copic multi-liners with um, my Copic pens, marker pens. So yeah. Just to let you know, what I tend to do with all my multi-liner pens is when I'm drawing, I tend to draw an art piece out and let it dry fully the ink. Because I find sometimes if you are over an art really, really um, heavy-handedly, what happens, that ink does lift off, even when I use let it dry completely. So what I tend to do is I quite lightly draw a line first and then after I've used my whatever markers you're using, alcohol markers you're using, pro markers or copic markers, I then go over it and then go back with fine liners and different thicknesses and then thicken the lines up that way. So what I'm going to show you is I've originally gone and sketched and outlined this I don't know, I might show the process or I might not because I did record it but it is, it's but it's going to be a sped up little video you can check that out now if you want so first I start off with a pencil drawing and then I go on to taking one of the skin tone so the brown one, the sepia colour by the Copics I quite like these pens because I got a few different colours in this one I got three 0.3 pens and there's, there's green, navy, red, it's kind of like a, I would say more of a pinkish kind of red but I don't think I've got any colours listed on the back here, let me have a look, I don't think so, no it doesn't have the colours right, it might be on the pen but yeah anyway so it's like a red and then we have that sepia colour. Then you can get packs like this that have four in one, or you can get larger packs, but I've got the purple as well. Um, this one is also in different sizes, so you can get different size pens. But these ones are all 0.3. Usually that's the size I use, or 0.1 if I'm outlining a design. But yeah, I used the 0.3 on this quite faintly, and then I rubbed the lines out, the razor lines, so we're left with an image, quite a faint image. So that will be ideal to do my Copic designs all over. This has been drying for two days now, maybe I haven't gone back to it. So yeah, it should be completely dried already. But yeah, then we can take our Copic hens and I will do a speed sped up video of that while I'm colouring it in. So you can see that it doesn't lift off. But I will suggest some of the, even my... Um, multi-liner pens from my uni pen they even also sometimes get lifted off by the light i would say the light copic colors because they have more alcohol in them so i don't know maybe it's something to do with that but the darker colors don't tend to pull it out unless i don't notice because they're darker and you can't really see that happening but for this purpose i'm going to be using only these fine liners and yeah, and I'll be using the Copic markers on that as well. So keep tuned. If you haven't followed already, hit that follow button. I really appreciate it. And follow all my other social media sites. And leave any questions if you have about the pens. I'll try to answer them. These ones you can't refill though. I will to let you know. There are some you can get the metal tip ones. But you do have to replace the tips for that. Even these ones, you can actually wear the tip down. So you have to have a smooth paper. Or I tend to go for watercolour paper. Now this is my textured one. So this is the cold pressed one by Arches. So yeah, I do tend to go for textured paper. That is quite thick. This is 300 GSM paper as well. So it's up to you. You can go for smoother um, papers, but be aware, try not to press too hard on these nibs because they do wear down. I would say my uni pins are more durable. So this one I haven't worn down yet. 
but eventually they probably will be so they will you will have to look out for that and anything else i have to say if there's anything on it but i did find these i think this pack on ebay somewhere so yeah i found like a large pack and we have quite a good variety going on here sorry if it's out of the camera there we go so we have 0 0.1 0 0.03 0 0.05 0 0.3 that's the other way around 0 0.5 8 and 0 0.5 1.0 and this is bs and bm basically means bs means a small brush small and the brush medium so yeah those are thicker kind of pens there now we'll come back after i have done this sorry we've got a lot of noise happening today for some reason when i decide to record and then everyone comes out but <laughs> i can't help that um if you can hear in the background sorry about that but anyway we'll be back guys bye